Late last night, a military listening post received a distress call from a private research base owned by Arctic Biosystems. I've been instructed to escort you and your rapid response team up to the base to determine whether it is, in fact, a retrovirus. Why me? The infected patient is Peter. I want to see my brother. I'm afraid the news isn't good. He's been in and out of consciousness. What's it doing to him? It's changing him. Into what? I'm an actor and I like working. Um, no, what I, I just, I loved how she was written. I'm, I like sci-fi too, and but I like uh, good sci-fi, you know, the hokey kind of stuff. And um, she's just a really, she's a well-written character. She's humble, she's intelligent, she's a woman, she's flawed. Um, she's just got a lot going on. And um, she exists for reasons outside of her ex-husband. And I think that's, that's that's important, and that's why we have so many great female characters on TV these days because people pick up on that and um, like to see real people on their journey, you know. So she was just a fantastic character, and I thought the story was really interesting. I think viruses are a real like threat for people, but then when you mix the sci-fi on top of that, um, and with Helix, the unique part of Helix, because there's a lot of outbreak shows that have come out recently too, is that it's um, it's the psychological thriller that's a real trip. Just watching people have to be stuck in what what are they going to do to survive and, and being in these environments where they're going to do things that they wouldn't typically do in regular circumstances. I know about Helix actually because I've done a lot of things where just because of my look, it's like, oh, you're the bad girl and you're going to come in with guns and leather and knives and stuff. Um, what was cool about it is Julia is not a fighter, but she just has a fighter spirit, I think, in her personality. But I was getting attacked, but it was very sloppy action, which I thought was great because we're not fighters, we're doctors, we know what we're doing. But um, the physical work I did with the sickness was um, uh, old dance training. It was like creative training to try to figure out the like the the movements that I was going to do to where I felt the virus and where I felt better and how I would hold myself and. I, I took some inspiration from Neil from the beginning, even though he becomes that kind of vector and I, my character was dying, but, um, but I still took pieces of watching what he was doing physically, where his center was, and then once I got my silver eyes, I was just watching Hero just to see how does he, how does he move and how does he deal and how does he, how does he do things, and so um, you just take pieces, pieces from everywhere and kind of put it together and hope it plays. It was a huge emotional journey, a creative journey physically, um, just with the virus, tracking the virus, because we were block shooting. So episode four, I'm, you know, three, I'm sick, four, I'm getting worse, and then five is getting really bad, six, I'm dying. So because we were block shooting and doing things sometimes, I, I, I had to use a lot of just my physical background to track now we're doing this scene, so you have to go back to how you were before, and now you've got to develop it worse into episode six. So that was just a lot of fun, and it just, it, it, as an actor, when you get to bring all of your background to it and, and have that much creativity and, you know, emotional journey and everything, it was a whole package. So, yeah, they loved to, they loved to uh, torture me. <laughs> if you had any idea what they were doing here, you'd be getting the hell out yourself. I don't think you know a damn thing about this virus. People are panicking. We risk losing control of the base. We're screwing with the laws of nature. 